Hey guys, Sharkin here and welcome back to another one of my videos. So yesterday we got the news that, well it was late last night for me, we got the news that there was actually a release date for BFA which was August 14th. So I've come here with just a video for just help you guys because there is a mount. So the Azure Water Strider, we might need this, we might not. Either way, this is an extremely good mount to have because it's the one that walks on water. So it requires the anglers exalted. So we're going to see how to actually get the exalted with the anglers. As you guys can see, I am already exalted with them. So the first thing you want to do is you want to look at this calendar and check that the time walk is, is indeed working for Pandaria at the moment. And of course, with the Dark Moon Fair, this is the only one that's going to happen with the Dark Moon Fair and the time walking one at the same time. So if you get it within the next day, you should be able to get the 10% buff as well for the rep. So we're going to take a look, quick look, what we actually need. So if we go talk to the time walking vendor here, as you guys can see, you got the time warped badge. And you keep going through all the way until you find... Well, let me find where it is. Trillers. The anglers there. Increase your reputation with the anglers by 300 and cost 50. So these are quite... They're easy enough to get. You get them like 5 off a boss kill or something like that. But if every single time warp dungeon that comes around, so this time Mr. Pandaria, the first one you do, you'll get a quest item which gives you 500 type one time warp badges, which will give you 10 of those, which is 3,000 rep, which is not too bad. Of course, you do your dailies in between and stuff like that, and you'll get a lot. So you can go do that one, 3,300 if you include the Dark Moon Fair buff. And if you are revered, you can also buy the one that increases the reputation by 100%, which is this item here. And if you use this item, instead of getting 300, you'd be getting 600, which would increase the speed you get it by a lot quicker. So every single time walking, you can get one. So as you guys can see, there's one time walking here. Then just down here, we have another time walking. And it's like a war zone over here, guys. So I have to shadow meld um, over here. So you can collect 500 here and use it while we still got the Dark Moon Fair. You get another 500 over here. Of course, you can farm it and maybe get a lot quicker. Or you can just do your dailies, that's fine as well. This is just a little boost for those that need it. As you guys can see, it is pretty much a war zone. I don't think they realize I'm here yet. So over here you get 500 and you do not spend it. You just put it into your currency and then you keep it there. And then over here we've got another time walking. And over here we have another time walking. And the last one, July, just before August, you have the last time walking. This is the last Pandaria one. So by this one, you should have another 2,000 of those Time Warp badges saved up. So you just walk over to her, you buy out all the rest that you need, and make sure, you have to make sure when you hit Revered, to buy that item. Because if you don't buy that item, it, it, you'll be going at half the pace that you should be going at. So definitely go buy that item and get your mount. It's very easy. And the vendor is just down here in Krasarung Wilds. The Angler's Wharf. And you guys can go there. That's pretty much it, guys. And by the end, you will have this awesome mount that can walk on water. If nobody... Of course, they're going to kill me. Right? Why not? Oh, look at all those pets. Well, you guys get it. It just walks on water. All right, guys. Anyway, that's the end of the video. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one and enjoy your mount. Bye-bye.